Hi, my name is Kathy from the Body Mind Spirit Center. I'm a holistic health practitioner. So that means I work with clients addressing all areas of who we are, the body, mind, and spirit. I do food as medicine classes through the years and I've been juicing myself for over 20 years. And it's helped my body tremendously and it's helped a lot of my clients. I was sharing on my personal Facebook page the other day one of the juices I was making because I was having a little flare up with my stomach, my intestines, and so I was sharing the juice I made, and I had a lot of interest, so I thought I'd make a quick video and share with you as well. This is a cabbage juice, so the properties of the cabbage helps really well with intestinal disorders, disease, helps with Crohn's, helps with ulcerative colitis, helps with irritable bowel, helps with diverticulitis, helps with inflammation going down, and also helps um, anti-cancer properties. It's really good for the immune system. Lots of phytonutrients. And the world we live in now with Google, you can Google that and you'll see more in-depth information that's out there. So I'm going to make a cabbage juice and this is how I make mine. You can make yours the way you want. Tweak it what way works for you. So I'm using purple and green cabbage. The purple cabbage has more phytonutrients than the green. The green still has good nutrients and will definitely help with ulcers and ulcerative colitis and Crohn's and irritable bowel and whatnot. Um, but the purple has a lot more nutrients and personally I think it tastes better in the juicing. It's not so hard. So um, these are organic cabbages that I got from a local uh, farmer and they're smaller than what you buy in the store because that's what was available this week with him. These are the bigger ones, gives you some idea of the size that these are. I mix in with mine cucumber and I mix in apples. I usually use green apples because they have less sugar and I have to watch my sugar, yet apples have really good healing properties for the liver and, and whatnot and it helps with the taste. I also use celery and mix the celery in, and I also use ginger root. I make a whole variety of different juices for different times that I know I need them. And so there's other ways you can make juices with celery um, and just cucumber as well. But right now I'm gonna stay focused on the cabbage juice. So I'm gonna cut the, these and show you how I juice them. Now I could ask the question is, well, if I don't have a juicer, can I still make this juice? Some people do. They use a blender and then they strain it through a mesh strainer and you can do that as well. Um, I personally think the juicer is a good investment because it's an investment in for you and your health. When you juice, you don't have to break down the fiber. And so the nutrients of the juice go right into your bloodstream. It's instant healing starts. Anybody with ulcers, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's, irritable bowel, you will start noticing a difference in 10 days juicing, definitely. And then within 30 days, you'll feel a huge difference. You'll probably wonder why you never did it before. So I make the juice and I keep them in mason jars, in a big mason jar, and then I have smaller ones. And the best way to keep your juice is in glass jars or stainless steel. And I don't like drinking mine over two days. Some people are fine with three. Go with what you like. It's gonna settle in the fridge, so you wanna shake it up before you drink it. So, when I juice, I also, I'll give you a tip on this. It, it makes it easier to clean up. I use either the produce bags that you get in the store and put it in the bucket or at the Dollar Tree, they have the little, little tiny garbage bag, vacuum bags, um, garbage can bags, and I use them. And then I can just pull that out and discard it. The pulp is really good for composting. Years ago, I tried cooking with the pulp, but just all the nutrients and all the flavors really juiced out it, so I don't mess with that anymore. Now, when you're juicing in your juicing machine, things that are more dry, you wanna put things with liquid behind them, it helps disperse it. You'll get the feel of it once you start juicing. Oh. Uh, your 
juicing machine works. I have a Gravel. I've had this is my second one. There, it's a really good juicer, but any juice is fine. This day and age, there's so many out there. Now. So I'm putting in about two inches of ginger root. I'm putting two over there. Apples. I'm also using, I use a lot of celery, celery has amazing good properties. So I'm using a whole sleeve of what you would buy. Sorry. Now this is getting full, so I'm going to need to dump it in the container and then I'll continue juicing. So I'm going to do this and go through all this work. I'm going to make sure I have enough that's going to last me for a few days. So it's worth my time and energy. Plus it means I have it already made and on hand. And then throughout the day, I'll just shake it up and throw some ice in a glass and a straw and I'll just drink it right down. Isn't that beautiful? Of course, anybody that knows me knows purple is my favorite color. get in the habit of it. So when I just did here, I made this really big mason jar full. Isn't that beautiful? taste and your body just knows when it drinks it it's like it it needs it it knows it likes the nutrients it's like anything it's a habit that you need to get into if you want to really start rebuilding your health and putting nutrients in in a dense way I don't know about you but I'm not going to be eating that much cabbage I'm not going to eat all that celery and I'm not going to be eating all these raw fruits and vegetables let alone if you have a digestive disorder or a challenge with your digestive system that's a lot to break down to even get those nutrients in. And then when you're cooking the vitamin, you're cooking vegetables, you're cooking out a lot of the vitamins. Um, this cabbage is really good for um, other ways you can have it too in the raw, you know, it's, it's coleslaw and then also steamed cabbage and put some like apple cider vinegar on it and balsamic vinegar and butter and salt and pepper. So I hope this inspires you to juice. I'm gonna do another video and show you how I incorporate these also for gut health and repairing. As I work with collagen, I use um, wheatgrass powder and bone broths. And these are another quick way that helps go in and heal the tissue within, helps the skin within, but also helps your outer skin too. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks. <laughs>